Welcome to episode 458,212, week 9,407. This week is a little different. I'm doing a bit of a science experiment, which takes me back to my days as a physics teacher. So this is around these insulated roof panels and does gluing and screwing a batten to the underside carry the plasterboard. So I spoke to the manufacturer about these, about whether or not you need a vapour barrier underneath. The manufacturer said you don't need a vapour barrier. So then I said, okay, can I glue and screw battens underneath to hold um, the plasterboard? And the manufacturer said, no, you can't glue and screw battens underneath. So what I've done is glue and screw buttons underneath. So what I want to see is, is it going to work? So the panel itself is a sandwich made up of the outer layer of metal glued to the insulation and this inner layer. So this button that's screwed underneath to take the plasterboard is actually holding onto this bottom layer. So this is piece I've just done exactly like I've done the ceiling, which is glued with um, sticks like SH1T all along, and then tech screwed in with these tech screws. So what I've done is support this test piece between two bits of insulation standing up to represent the walls. So now I've got a test piece that's 3.4 metres span, got the button underneath, got hooks in it to hold some weights, and what I'm going to do is hang the weights and see what happens. I think the fear is, from the manufacturer, probably two things. One, can it support the weights? And two, does this inner panel delaminate from the insulation because the insulation is glued to this top piece and to the bottom piece. So really there's nothing holding this bottom piece of metal up apart from the fact that it's glued to the insulation which is then glued to the top. So I think the worry is that you fix too much weight to this and this inner panel delaminates from the insulation and then you just have this hanging down and flapping around because obviously the screws holding the bands just tech screw through the first layer and they go about 25 mil into the insulation but they're really just holding on this inner metal leaf so what I'm going to do put the level across the top there so at the moment with no weight just supporting the panel itself 3.4 metre span. There's a small, tiny bit of deflection. So I've got a one mil packer here. So that won't go in. So there's, a, I can see a gap, but it's very, it's probably half a mil. That one mil packer won't go in, okay? So the panel can support itself, and obviously the baton and the hooks. Now I've calculated the weight of the plasterboard, the plaster and the battens is 5.5 kilos per linear metre of batten if you've got 12.5 mil plasterboard. If you've got 9.5 mil plasterboard it works out about 4.4 kilos per metre. That's what the thing needs to carry. So. These hooks are spaced out half a metre, so that is three kilos over half a metre, and that is six kilos over one metre. So that just about goes in, although I've got to kind of lift it a little bit. So that has deflected it slightly quarter of a mil, can't quite fit it in without lifting it. 
They are just about. So that's the weight of plasterboard, plaster and the battens. No noise, nothing, nothing is delaminating here, that's just fine, there's been no crack or noise. Let's try another kilo each side. Another kilo on here. So that's going a little bit easier, so it has deflected a little bit more. So that's eight kilos. So that's already more than you need. 5.5 kilos for 12 and a half mil plasterboard. 4.4 for nine and a half mil. Two kilos more. Let's put another two kilos on this side. So that is two, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, twelve kilos over a meter. And that packer will go in now. So that is a slight deflection of half a mil, because it was about half a mil to start with from 12 kilos, over 3.4 meters. Also bearing in mind, this is only 17 centimeters across and it's got one ridge. So obviously up on the roof, they're one meter wide and they've got three ridges per panel. And obviously the glue area, holding the glue, the, the inner panel to the insulation is much wider. So there'll be much more support over that width of about 600 between each baton. So let's go another two kilos on each side. Which is the most weight I've got. I'm surprised the hooks are holding actually. I thought one thing that might happen is the hooks come down first. Right. So that is 16 kilos over a meter. So that is about three, four times as much as you need, depending on the thickness of plasterboard you're using. But that works. It's got now slightly over one mil. This is a two mil packer. Mm. Just about. So that just about I can squeeze that in. So I would say 16 kilos gives you a deflection of about one and a half mil, maybe a bit less than one and a half mil. Over 3.4 meters with a 17 centimeter width of the panel to support it. No sign of delamination. There's no cracking, nothing's made a noise. That seems to be glued up there fine. So apart from that one and a half mil deflection, I think that's okay. Obviously, again, the manufacturer said don't do it, but if I don't do it, I can't put plasterboard on the ceiling. What the manufacturer actually suggested was Oh, what you need to do if you want plasterboard <coughs> is have an independent timber support structure up underneath the roof to fix the plasterboard on. Um, but if I did that, that would have to be, you know, probably 200 deep. And that puts me at the same sort of size as a traditional timber warm roof anyway. The benefit of using these is it's a low profile and you are getting a warm roof in only about 115 mil. Then I've got the battens, double battens, which takes me 50 mil. So I'll get a, a warm roof with plasterboard in about 165 mil. 
rather than a 300 mil um, traditional timber warm roof. And obviously this panel, I think, is more durable and that's going to last longer than a timber roof, surely, because it's metal. So, that's that. Seems fine to me. No del delamination. One and a half mil deflection over 3.4 metres with three to four times the amount of weight that the plasterboard will actually generate. So that is 16 kilos, three or four times as much as you need, and seems to be working. I'll leave that like that for a week or so and see what happens, see if that deflection gets any more. At the moment, I can just about squeeze in a two mil packer, just about, although I'm lifting the, I'm actually lifting the level in the middle. So hopefully that's interesting and useful. Um, I'm playing around with this new mic, so hopefully the sound's all right. But I need to work out the levels. I'm all right at that kind of level, not so much on the mic levels. But hopefully it's all right. Right. I'll report back if that deflects anymore or this separates from the glue. But I'm quite pleased that actually there's no sign at all of that delaminating, which I think is the biggest worry. Right, see you on the next video where I will be doing a bit more on the stud walls, putting the supports in for the TV, putting the other kind of supports, noggins and supports for the back boxes, which I'll take you through on the next video. So look out for that. Thanks for watching.